study in human nature. Please give a warm welcome to William James. Were one asked to characterize the life of religion in the broadest and most general terms possible, one might say that it consists of the belief that there is an unseen order and that our supreme good lies in harmoniously adjusting ourselves thereto. This belief and this adjustment. I have several times within the past few years felt the so called consciousness of a presence. Experiences which I have in mind are clearly distinguishable from another kind of experience which I have had very frequently and which I fancy many persons would also call the consciousness of a presence. But the difference for me between the two sets of experience developed with equal intensity and abruptness, only then it was filled with a quality of joy. There was not a me consciousness of something there, but fused in a central happiness. A startling awareness of song. I remember the night and almost the very spot on the hilltop when my soul opened out. As it were into the infinite and there was a rushing of the two worlds, the Such is the human imagination, and such is the convincingness of what it brings to birth. Unpicturable beings are realized, and realized with an intensity almost like that of an hallucination. They determine our vital attitude as decisively as the vital attitude of lovers is determined by the habitual sense by which each is haunted. And this feeling of dread was mitigated by the hope of finding the assistance of someone. God, God surrounds me like the physical atmosphere. He is closer
material of our study of human nature is now spread before us. And in this parting hour, set free from the duty of description, we can draw our theoretical and practical conclusion. Summing up in the broadest possible way the characteristics of the religious life as we have found them, it includes the following beliefs.